If you're visiting Sarasota or live in the Sarasota area and are looking for something fun and interesting to do outside on a beautiful day, then stay tuned to learn more about the Selby Botanical Gardens, plus our tips to help you plan a great visit. Stay tuned. We're Josh and Liz from That Florida Life, helping you live that Florida lifestyle you've been dreaming about. Whether you already live in Florida, are planning a vacation here, or even thinking of moving here one day. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos about Florida travel, lifestyle, and real estate. The Marie Selby Botanical Gardens is one of the largest subtropical conservatories in the world. With the main location right near downtown Sarasota, it has fantastic views of the bay and visitors are able to enjoy a fun and relaxing atmosphere in this outdoor oasis. Here are some interesting facts about the gardens and tips to help you plan your visit. The Selby Gardens is the third oldest botanical garden in Florida. The gardens began as a family endeavor for Mrs. Marie A. Selby, a wealthy socialite from Chicago who made a name for herself in the Sarasota area with her love of nature. Despite her wealth, Mrs. Selby and her husband lived in a modest home along the bay and she was known to be quite down to earth with an adventurous spirit and she even had a love for outdoors and camping. Marie built up her property beautifully and her wish was that upon her death, her home and land, including the gardens, would be donated to the city of Sarasota to be turned into a botanical garden that everyone in the community could enjoy. The botanical gardens officially came to be two years after her death in 1975 and has grown over the years to become one of the largest subtropical conservatories in the world at 15 acres in size and with many thousands of plants both indoors and outdoors around the main campus. The original Selby home was built in 1921 and is still on the property today, but now it's used as a cafe and also to house photos that document the history of the property and Marie's life. The Selby Botanical Gardens is home to the best scientifically documented collection of orchids and bromelades in the entire world. More than half of all existing plant families in the world are represented here at the Selby Gardens collection. The Tropical Conservatory is just one of the garden's eight greenhouses. Marie Selby planted her banyan grove in 1938, and many of them still stand to this day. The garden's first horticulture employees actually worked for Marie Selby herself. There are actually two locations. The main campus is located just south of downtown Sarasota with fantastic views of the bay. And this was the original Selby property with the home on site. There is also a second Selby Botanical Gardens location, just a few miles south of Sarasota in the town of Osprey, Florida. This is actually at the Old Spanish Point Historical Area. How long you spend at the Botanical Gardens really depends on your schedule and how much time you want to spend relaxing and exploring. At a minimum, you'll need a couple of hours to at least walk around and explore each of the exhibits. However, if you have children who want to play and have some fun, then you might want to spend a little extra time there. Maybe give yourself some time to have lunch, feed the fish, or just have a seat and admire the views around you. Then, if you do this, you could easily spend an entire morning or afternoon here soaking up the gardens. 
speaking of kids, kids can actually have a lot of fun here. There are so many interesting exhibits, plus the children's play areas are really cool, with towers to climb, tunnels and suspension bridges that go all through the trees, waterfalls, and they'll definitely love feeding the fish as well. Please note that strollers are not available to rent, so if you need one, be sure to bring your own. You'll also want to dress comfortably with good walking shoes. Keep in mind that many of these exhibits are outdoors, so you might also need sunscreen, an umbrella, or a hat. If you don't have anyone to come with you, no worries. Solo visitors will enjoy their time here as it's a wonderful place to explore and relax on your own and it's perfect for a little bit of me time with nature. There is a cafe inside the original Selby home on the property and you can purchase food and drinks that help support the programs. This cafe offers things like sandwiches, wraps, salads, soups, pastries, cookies, etc. There are guided and self-guided tours available if you want a more in-depth experience. You can book one of the general tours that take place daily, or you can customize a group tour of your own. You should do this in advance though, so be sure to check out their website for up-to-date details. Since most of the botanical garden exhibits are outside, you'll enjoy it more when it's not crazy hot or cold. Yes, it can get chilly here. As far as rain goes, while major thunderstorms wouldn't be that fun, a light sprinkle is actually kind of nice. I actually visited on an overcast day and there was a few sprinkles here and there and it was actually really perfect. Convenient parking is available on site at both locations. There are also all kinds of special events and exhibits held throughout the year at the Selby Botanical Gardens. From brunches to music series events, an annual ball, wine dinners and lunches, and various holiday events, some of which are really, really popular. In fact, one of their most popular holiday events during the year is the Lights in Bloom Holiday Light Show. With more than 2 million lights and colorful artistic displays throughout the gardens, visitors can't help but feel the holiday spirit. There are a number of things that you should not miss if you visit the gardens.
Tickets are available on site or on the Selby Gardens website. Both the downtown and the Spanish Point campus are open daily from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., but they are both closed on Christmas Day. The price of admission is separate for each location, with the downtown location charging $20 and the Spanish Point location charging $15. Keep in mind that there's also a membership option, and members can enjoy special perks throughout the year, as well as free admission to the gardens whenever they want, as well as discounted tickets for guests too. For more information about visiting the Selby Botanical Gardens, check out our website for the full blog post and lots of details. And you can also leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on our other Florida videos. Thanks for watching.